Hey y'all, uh, it's Jay the Nation over here. I'm here with a video where I'm actually going to show you guys. I've been making um some animated flyers lately, and I'm posting on my Instagram page, not my Haitian mobile page, but my MSJ Inc. Instagram page. And what I've been doing is basically just showing you guys my work and just showing it to you in an animated form. Um, with this one, I'm actually going to show you a technique that I use to be able to make those animated flyers, and you can also use them on any type of graphic. If you're a graphic designer, you can use this as well. And basically, it's going to go ahead and just show you my process that I go through. So the first thing I want to do is I always want to at least bring up the design that I actually want to show. So this would be the, the completed design. And I open up the file over here, and I have all my layers. Now, the first thing that I always do is I always duplicate this file. So I come up here, and I go down to image, and I hit duplicate. And it opens up another tab, and I save that as the animated version. Now, also what I'll do is I will go through and delete all the um, all these layers that have are not selected, that are not displayed. Like this one, I can actually delete this, click on that, and delete it. And then what I'll do is I can also go through here, and all the ones that have their folders, I will go through and merge the the, the flyers, or excuse me, merge the layers, so that way I can keep them as flat as possible. So I don't want to have too many moving elements or too many parts to the design and to the animation to where I can't keep up with with how it's going to look out. So I wanted to make sure that it's, it's simple and easy to use. So these are the only amount of layers that I have for this particular flyer design. And this is a, an album cover that I made uh, shoot a little while ago actually. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and use this as a basis to go ahead and show you guys how I do this. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and... Open up photo, open up um, Flash, Adobe Flash. If you don't have it, you can actually click on the link in the description, which I should be able, you should be able to download it from there. Um, and if not, just go ahead and reach out to me, and I'll send you the link as well for that. And so what I've been doing, of course, is Adobe Flash right here. And how I've been doing it is I just go here, and I normally would go to to go to Action Script Two. Action Script Two or Three would actually work. Um, the difference between them, in my opinion, is just the coding because you will have to do like certain types of action script codes, and that's just basically to let the the actual project know that you are attempting to go back to another uh, frame, so that way it can repeat that frame, or it can just go back to the the beginning or stop playing altogether. It's all bunch of different other things you can actually do with it, but those are the ones that I use more than anything. So what I, now what I'll do is once I'm actually inside of Adobe Flash, I come up here and I'll do import to stage, which basically is gonna grab all the all the pieces that I have from this one right here. All right, and we'll go back up here, make sure I hit save, and remember where I, the name that I gave it. So the 505, which I don't know why I called it that, I gave it the wrong name. But anyway, I'm supposed to be 550, but either I'll just go make sure I grab that one, and it's gonna go ahead and save this one more time. And saving it at the bottom. All right. Once that goes, I'll go ahead and open up Flash. I wait for this to come up because still it's still loading all the files. All right. So now that we're here. Now what I want to do is go ahead and find that specific file. Uh, the client. I don't see him right here, and then go to animator. Right. Here. Hit enter. So now you're gonna select every layer that you had already edited or submerged, all that stuff. You're gonna select every layer in there, so that way you can make it into an 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 animated layer, a motion clip. So we'll click on each one and make sure that they all have a check mark because that's going to determine which ones you're going to actually import into your file. So you click on here, make sure you do a bitmap image with edible layer styles, which is going to make it a, a uh, movie clip for you. You can come over here and do the same thing for all of these, pretty much every single one that you want to import and use. Make sure they have a check mark and click the top point, top of tick, pick, click the top option. Come up here, same thing. Also click on the arrow, because you don't want to miss out on that either. So do the same thing, go inside of that, and make sure they all have, have this 
this image right next to it is going to change from the actual picture to a motion clip type image. Same thing with these blurs. All right, all of those. And these. All right. So now that we've got all that, they are checked. And this is why I say it's important to have only to keep the files in your from your PSD. Keep the files that you actually want to use. So that way it'll be easier when you import it. So then you got all these, then you click OK, and it's going to move everything here. All right. So as you can see, it moves everything here. So now what I want to do is come here and do Show All, and you'll be able to see all the different types of, of stuff that we have in here. All right. Now, one of the things that I do want to do, and as you can see, some of these files didn't come in as greatly as I would like for them to. And more specifically, I believe it's the, the Grudge file. You see that? So what I will do in that case, we're going to do um, a couple of things, but I'm actually going to go back into my PSD, come up here, and I'm actually going to, no, I don't have to do that because I have the completed file. What I was going to do is going to go here, well, I'll do it so you can see it. I'm going to come up here, go to the top, create a new, a new layer, then click at the top of this, click apply image. That way, it's going to give me the completed image here. Now, I'm supposed to look because that's going to come in handy when we're, when we're making the, um, the actual image itself. All right? When we're actually making the animation. So, we'll come up here and click Save. That's the final image. And you can save at the bottom. And if we didn't do that, we could also go back to the actual image itself, which would have been this right here. And I could actually just drag it into the uh, the library um but what i'll do is i'll just i'll just leave it at the what i got now because like i said it's gonna come it's gonna be important later on so we'll come up here and we'll shoot since i really don't have to leave with that it can just click it from here um let's do this one all right now we're gonna make sure where it's sent to that let's see And of course, you click these. That's going to show show you the image for that. So now, what I want to do it looks like I think it should be this one. Now, also, you want to make sure that this is equal enough to the size that you want it. Because right now, it's not the same size that we want it to be. So this one, we're going to make sure you go up here, image size, and it's an 800 by 800. So we're going to make sure that the size for this is also 800 by 800. Because that way it's going to fit. Otherwise, it's not going to fit. All right, and then we'll display that. Now that's when everything just starts really just showing up. So there's that image. Only thing is, it's embedded in the uh, in the background. So what I'll do is I will right click, hit copy. So I want to create, give its own file. So I'll come up here, create this, and then right click, well click the space within new file, give it a name, final image. Then come up here, right click, click paste. And then go back, click this space so that we can just make that disappear. Then go back here it's in the, into the background and hit delete. So that way, that file image is by itself. Then, because we do want this to be its own image and we want it to show everything, we're going to go ahead and click this box right here for tree, free transform tool. Then hold shift down and drag this down. Bring this down over here and just keep doing that until it fills up the space. And do one more. And it should be just like that. All right. 
And then, of course, we can always come down here and make that 800 by 800. There we go. That way it's, it fits completely. So that's the final image. That one will move all the way to the top. And now we can start actually creating our animations. We'll go ahead and save this and then we'll go back and then I'll come back and show you guys how to animate it. Now that's safe. Alright, now I'm going to come back and show you guys. Hey y'all, I'm back. Alright, so I went ahead and I deactivated my actual uh, webcam so that you guys can see the full screen. Uh, we're gonna, I'm just going to revise the last video. It's basically just separating all of your files and your layers and trying to merge them into one layer so that way you don't have a bunch of little layers on top of each other. And if you can flatten the image, Go ahead and do that, of course, by selecting each of these layers and holding that control, select the next one, hold that control again, select the next one. If you want these to be one layer and move together, then you hit control E, which will merge everything together. Uh, but for me, I already merged them already, so I went ahead and moved it over into Flash. Um, if you, you know, look at this in the beginning, middle of the video, you shouldn't be, then just go ahead and, and start from the beginning. But uh, for those of you who just continuing, I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it. Uh, first of all, like I said, you can, these are your eyes. These are what's going to show you what you actually can see. Now, for this last image, we want to show that last. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through and keep these um, deactivated. So, that way I can get an idea of what I want to do. So, first thing, which you normally, if you have a client that has something specific, you just go based off of what they're, they're wanting to do. If you have your own design and you're just trying to test something out and try to see how you can work it out and try different types of effects I'm gonna show you the simplest the simpler effects that I have and I'll make another video there which will include more action script and also another video that I have more advanced uh, effects as well uh, which will include like shape tweens and motion tweens and some of these you can actually find videos for online too so what I'm gonna do is just show you guys this first one so keep in mind this is layer one uh, I mean frame one to be exact. It's frame one. If you hit this, and you'll see they got the black background, which is what we already originally had. If I unhighlight that one, then we get this one. So now, what I usually like to do, I usually like to fade in my images. Okay. So meaning that this one, since it's the black one, this is empty. I could just exit, delete that. This is the this is the, this is the uh, black background. Come on, I don't know how to spell. Okay. And as always, save each progress you actually made. Or not each, but if you make a greater amount of progress, go ahead and save it just in case. So with this one, I'm going to go ahead and extend this all the way to frame 80. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, pretty lengthy. Or at least nice, a lot, nice enough space of size. So that way I can actually make them all, you know, go through here. But you'll see what I mean. And then this is the background image. Okay, can we click that off? You see that's on. So what I'm going to do is I like to have this faded. So I'll go ahead and click frame 5, right click, click insert frame, and it'll give you this space right here. So now what we want to do is click in the middle of this, which is so that we can create a motion tween. What a motion tween is, is basically a, it's a series of frames that are showing you what you can do with the image. So for example, if I click here, and I always click the middle, the, the actual middle dot of that frame. Okay? Now uh, you'll see that this pops up at the on the bottom, you can also change the instance name, which will usually be helpful when it comes to like your action scripts or anything like that. But for now, it's, it stays as this. But you can just, like I said, you can always change it. Now for the color, which is usually what I end up messing with when I do this. So initially, I want the frame to fade in, correct? So what I'll do is I'll actually go to alpha, and it's at zero. Keep in mind, if it's at a hundred, the frame is fully in. The image is fully in. If it's at zero. The frame is is not. So now what we can do is click over here, and then hit enter, and you'll see the, the you'll see the effect. You see that? Now also, 
another thing, you click on the outside of this square right here, and you'll actually be able to get the um, the frames per second. Now, my hours are running pretty fast. Mine's usually, I usually put mine to make about eight, seven, sometimes six. So, we'll try eight. Go back up here, click the frame one, you can see it from the beginning. And as you can see, it slowed down a lot. Okay? And you can also keep dropping it if you want to. And if not, you can also make it to where this is extended. So you can make this to frame 10. Get a better look. Alright? You can do that if you want to. So with mine, I might make it 7 if I'm going to make it a little longer. Only because I kind of like the way that looks a little bit. And then just click anywhere to stop it or click escape or enter again. Okay? So now that's that. Now also, I don't want the image to just go away. So instead, what I'll do is I'll come up here. And as long as this is closed, see my motion will actually stop right here. Then I can actually create my extra frame. Uh, frame 80. Right click, hit insert keyframe. And it's going to give me the, the finalized image from the motion. So what we'll do here, come, up, come back up here. Hit enter, and you'll see the, the whole motion of it. All right? Now, that's that. Now, what I want to do is I kind of want to make this as simple as possible for me. Um, you might want something a little more complex, but this is where you really go to just have to play with it and see what you like. So, I really want to get all these to come in one at a time, some at the same time, until I can get the full image. So, we'll go ahead and start right here. And as you can see, this, this car I have is at right here, but then at the frame one is a black screen. So I don't want this to come in at this point. So I will hold, I will left click, hold that keyframe, bring it all the way to key, keyframe ten. So that way these are blank. If you see, if you see your frames like this, that means they're blank. And if I come up here, now the car is inside. So what I would like to do is bring the car in, but to make it come in from the right side. So what I'll do is I'll create another frame right here. Click that space where I want the frame to be, whether it's 15 or 20. Go ahead and you can and you don't even have to make it 15 or 20, you can make them inside these as well. So it's not restricted. It's basically how long you want your elements to go and how what you want them to do. And how fast. Of course, the speed definitely makes a big difference. So come up here where I, where I would like to try it out. Right click, insert keyframe. And keep in mind when you hit insert keyframe anywhere, all it's gonna do, if you can find insert here, it's gonna extend what you already have from here. So now with these, because I don't really want these extra ones, I'll, I can either come up here and hit undo select frames and do insert keyframe. It's going to go back. Or I can select these. I'm not going to do it now, but just for video purposes. Select all those frames, right click, and click remove frames. Okay? Or it's or convert to blank keyframes. That will actually give you blank. They'll, they'll make them blank for you. So now I want to make this come in from the right. Click in the middle, right click, create motion tween. Start from this the where the car starts from. And then use my arrow keys on my keyboard and make it go all the way to the right. Alright. Now once I do that, I can actually go ahead and do the same thing. Go ahead and extend that all the way to the end. Test this out. See what it looks like. Okay, not that, it's not bad at all. So, now, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with these other ones. And now we're going to test them out. Now with this one, because his image is already like that, I think what I might do is I might, instead of actually, I might fade him in, but also... Right here, do that to the end, but also make these pop up. So I want this to just pop up. Um, and now I might make a slide in. side. Uh, if you can see, you get an idea of exactly how it is to make these work to your benefit. So come up here. 
She's not bad at all. Could be more of a wow factor. And then of course you see what I do with this. It kind of gave me this whole blanking feel. So I don't really care for that. But if something else sparks my interest later, I'll do that. So instead, I might just make it that just come up with him. Or, even better, I'll just make that fade in with him because I prefer that. It looks better. Alright, so now we got the shades. Let's see what it looks like. Now, here is an effect that I could try with you all so you can see what I got, what it looks like. So this is the shades, right? So I'm going to put it right with this right here because I want that to fade in. So we'll do that. save right quick you know came with the money you kind of don't want to come in with the money oh no then you can move these frames like for example I don't want to come with the money so I want it to come in after the money so I can select the frame that I want to move push this all the way back and it's back there simple as that perfect all right now save that All right, so now what I want to do is I got the shades. I'm trying to think. The best thing to play, I guess, let me see. The best one is the Texas shades. Let me see what they look like. See, it's that big difference. I might just make it pop up. I had an idea for the shades though. Oh, okay, here you go with the shades. So, um, leave this the way it is, got kind of like the way that comes in. Then with the shades, I like to do this thing where I make it flash. So I usually go like one or two, three, two to three frames past the motion between. Go ahead and insert a frame. Then I'll go ahead and insert another one, two frames after that. So that way, all I'm working with is this little space in the middle. And I come in the middle, click the inside, create motion between. Now, as you can see, it's a small little blue area, but that's what I want, all right? So then I come up here and click the first one of this little space, click the inside of this, for the frames. Make sure that when you click it, that even if you did click it, sometimes it might go into the, the other frames. So that might mean that there's a frame, or there's a, um, a layer on top of it, so you would have to possibly... Um, you activate that layer in time being, and if it's if it doesn't interrupt, then you go ahead and move on with what you're doing. But as long as it, as you are selecting the frame of the layer that you want to work on, then you should be okay. And even if just keep in mind that if you make a mistake, you can always go to edit and literally just Control Z all the way back to where you want to be. Okay, so then I come up here, click on this, this that frame clicked on. Make sure I click the space because I can I could use this here, but because I don't have any of these, and I don't have any of this at all, so I really want to make sure I click on this exact layer to edit that. So once I click on here, then it'll give me these other options. So I want to make sure that it's it get the brightness going, and then hit this right here, and it's gonna do this on its first frame and then go back down. Now I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So you will see, we'll come up here just see, just for video purposes. Just like that, right? That's what I wanted to do. Come up here, try it again, see what it looks like all together so far. Perfect, right? Now, what I also had in mind is I could actually skip to these. So I'm going to go here because the frame is going to come in here. So I want it to fade in. Alright, see what it looks like. 
Make sure you got selected caption frames. And then extend that. Caption according to the finish this up. What was the other caption left for it? So I want these to be coming at the same time. So I'll put this here. You see that you see that's the cache the left corner right here. So I want that to be right here, so I move that right. Just click it once, hold it, drag it back. Man, of course you see it's gonna give you those frames. Now if you want to, you can always get rid of these. Click on those and click remove frames. Or but since I, I need them, so I'm gonna go ahead and add insert frames. It's gonna create them back for me. Most between Come up here. The dot right here, and click on alpha. No, 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 that's not what I had it on. Uh, what did I do? Oh, I had moved to the other side, so let me go to the right. All right, okay, and then go up here. And go ahead and add this extra frame. I'm sure I see this whole image. All right, now so try it again to make sure I, I know what I'm looking at. And you see what happened with that with the frames? Because they first they start off without the cache in it, right? So that's the effect that I want. I like the way that they already turned out. Alright, so I'm happy with that. So now, so that was a great milestone. We'll go back and leave that there. Now, um, these blurs. Now, why, why I call them blurs? Is because they literally are that they just they're these little lights now they actually go on all these images here so what I'll probably do is leave them for now um, and then come back at them later I usually add those last so we'll probably should move this toward the top like that maybe do another final image all right so the next thing I want to work on what is this See what that looks like if I drag it over. Okay, cool. That's what I. That's another thing too. So now what I want to do. So since the money came in there, I'm going to go ahead and, and make this come in as well. So move this over. Up here, click on this dot. Make sure that it's just editing. Alpha. There. Now let's try it out, see what it looks like. Even at this middle part. I like that. It kind of gives it like it's blending it in, right? So, start from the beginning to get an idea. So, I actually feel like I could move it a little more. for the effect. Huh. Still not exactly happy with it. So I'm wondering would it make a difference if I remove these. Move that over. If I start it later, I just make it pop. I have to see how I feel about that later. But right now, it's gonna have to do I feel like three something on the side. Even I kind of still don't like it. <laughs> um. So let's do that. I 
Ah, that looks a lot better. So a lot of times you have to just play around with this and just see what works best for you. All right. So I'm actually really happy with that. So now the next one, sheesh, is these logos and lights. Because this could be a really tedious process, but as long as you really know what you want to do and you're happy with the result, everything should be okay. So now what I'll do. Those are the lights. It's the car headlight, right? Let me go ahead and make that just come in. Make that show up. Extend. Extend this one. This one's here. So it won't be too weird. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll finish this off, and then when I get ready to do the blurs, I'll come back. All right, so as you can see, I made some additional edits on here, but I left some of these other ones so that way you guys can see what those look like and get an idea of how the whole image will be as well. All right. Shades, background. That was the final image that showed up there that last. Alright, now what I wanted to show you guys, because I left these here so you guys can see that being done, is this other um, way you can actually do bringing your, your elements. Um, try to see what I want. Do I want this one to come in? Probably going to be after everything. So, because I want that and the parental advisory to come in the same way. And it really, what I'm talking to you guys about the title and the parental advisory stick. Alright. So, with this one, I'm going to leave it right, put it right here probably. Go ahead and move a couple spaces down. Put that right there. Move between. Extend. So, now what I want to do is I actually want this to come in and come in like a slap. Um, I wanted to come in from the from the background and move it forward. So what I'll do is you could actually instead of creating hitting the dot on this one, go ahead and hold down your shift key. Make sure that you make sure that you're selecting the right um, layer that you want to edit and the frame. Go ahead and hit on your shift key. Bring this out. Like that. Alright. Now we're going to test it out to see what, we, what, what we're trying to do. Like that, right? So now we're going to zoom in a little bit. But this is what it's going to look like when they're actually looking at it from wherever, whatever screen. And I don't want it to be weird. Okay? And it's like that. Same thing with the parental advisory sticker. I want them to do the same thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to have it come in the same area or same time. But we could do this for to see what it looks like for video purposes. But I might not. I don't think I actually am though. So I might move this over like that. Extend that. Zoom out from here. Hold Shift. Spread that out. Come here. Like that. I'll zoom in again. And your screen may be bigger than mine, so you might be able to see a whole lot more. Like that. And then, see, I had the border, but I wasn't really feeling it too too much. Because the file image is going to look like this. And I'm looking at the image itself. I might have to move that over. I think they aligned up finally. But you see what I mean as far as the border goes? So I might leave it just to have it up here. But I'm going to do it to where it's not very noticeable. So I'll put it right here while this 
550 is coming in from the edge, from the back. And here's what I mean. You can click this space. As long as you, it says border or whatever you're trying to get to, then you're fine. Go ahead and do that. Alright. So then, the only thing I'm left with, I'm going to make sure I got all my layers. Folders open, got all those layers. The only thing that has been done is just blurs. We'll do that last. Um, final image, we'll do that completely last. Probably that 75. So now, go ahead and save what I got so far. Alright, so now I want to do the blurs. I want to do those last course because you guys get an idea of that. So let's go ahead and go back over this image again. Alright, so now we got that. So now let's do the blurs. Alright, the reason why I said I like doing these last because it's more for the effects. Now when it comes to these uh, images, I like to go ahead and really like display them simultaneously so that way it gets a feel for the actual design itself now what you could do is you could just click uh insert a keyframe of all these spread them out a little bit select the middle of all these create motion between select all these at one time and then you see how we got we selected more than one right so you want to make sure you, you see how they all have their own hollow Ball points. So with me, what I want to do is you create this. Click on this. And it's gonna select all of them at once. And as long as it's filled in the middle, and you see they're all selected still. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do this and hit that. Just so that way they can. Uh, there we go. Make sure that that shows them like it's supposed to. All right, and then come back up here and extend those. So now what we'll see is they all fade in. Alright? Now you can also do be a little creative with it. If you want to, you can come up here, move this over, you can move this over down this way, like that, you can move this down here. You can do a lot of different things with it, and then you'll be able to see the effects that you'll get with it. You see that? So that's up to you though. If you decide to do that. Now, if you wanted to, you could also get these same ones. Like, I'll go to try this one right here, right? We'll get the same one. Bring this down back here. Oh, no. Time to convert these. So, we'll go ahead and remove these frames. That one, move this. We'll leave it right there. Actually, you know what? I need to remove this, too. So, remove these frames. Alright, then what we'll do is I will go ahead and insert a blank frame. Extend that by this way. That way that's nothing but blank. Come up here, copy these frames, click this space, paste those same frames. What's gonna happen is it's gonna it's gonna do the same thing over and over again. And that could also Copy the same thing with this. Put that here. Let me do another one. Copy. Put that here. Let me show you exactly what I mean. You see that? So it just keeps coming at the bottom section. See that? So that's that's an effect you could also do. If you wanted to do that. You can also make it all continuously do the same thing over and over again. Um what I'll do in the next video, actually, we'll have more action script. But for this one, because I do want y'all to see the final image. That's my whole goal for this one. So come up here. Click that middle. Come up here. Then I create an extra layer. Click on that. Go to AS or type in action script. Go ahead and create a, a keyframe into that script. Come up here at the top. <clears throat> Make sure you click this space where it says actions. And the top one, you can type in stop. Open, close parentheses. Check your syntax, check your, your code. 
no errors. Now, a lot of these, I like to use like the really simple ones, but this is, like I said, this is where I'm going to have to create a different video for them so that you guys can get an idea of how they work. Um, because they're for all different, they are for all different types of things, like all types. So for me, I like to keep everything as simple as possible, and you have different codes for different action scripts. So as long as you see the A in the top, it means there's just a code written into it. We go ahead and hit save. Now we're gonna look at the whole thing viewed at at once. So the way to do that is to click Control and Enter at the same time. When you click Control first and then Enter, it's gonna export the film. All right, now we look at the whole thing. This is going to be the size image that they're going to see. All right. Now, of course, you some things you don't really care for. You can always go back and change them with yourself. You can make edits, all that stuff. All right. So a lot of that I can really see that I can change, make differently. But for the most part, you get the idea of how this works. And then from there, it stops right there. If I didn't put the stop action thing in there, let me show you what I mean. If I didn't do this, they just keep going. So let me show you. And it'll keep just rotating. Now, that'd be fine if you were making, a, say, for example, if you were doing a, uh, actually, if you just wanted to play like a GIF, it just go over and over. It just keep repeating over and over again. Right? But if you don't want it to be a GIF and you're displaying this flash, um, somewhere like on a website and you want it to just go down once just roll one time one time then you can actually do stop right here and then just hit that and save it again and then replay one more time and that's it um if you have any questions about anything specifically just let me know you can leave some comments at the bottom i uh, will upload this as well so that you guys can see the whole thing and decide what my completed because I'll probably make some edits to this and then show you guys like, what I decided to do completed wise. And then just go from there. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching this. If you have any other requests for me, don't hesitate to also ask. Make sure you sub and like this video and I will catch you guys on the next one. Alright, thank you so much.